How you doing YouTube? So, this is going to be my third installment showing one of the three hobbies of mine. So I showed you some videos in the gym, showed you some of my gun collection, although I do have to do a range video, but we'll see, we'll see when that happens. But as of right now, as you can see in the background, and probably judged by the title, I'm going to introduce you to my shoe collection. So brace yourself, get ready. There's a lot of Jordan 1s in here. And as you can see in the back of the boxes, there's a lot of pinnacles too. So if you're not a big fan of Jordan 1, this video ain't for you. But let's get started. First shoe we have here, I will start off, let's say, let's start off here with my beaters. What is considered these as beaters? You know, everyday shoe, if you're about to go out real quick, just throw them on, still look a little fresh with it. We got the Chicago 1 Lowe's. Not much to talk about. We'll, we'll get into details if you guys want more detailed videos. But as of right now, we'll just do a quick little sneak peek. So we'll try to get through all the shoes. Next here, we got the Cyber Monday Lows is what they want to call it. Not really quite sure if that really is the official name, but eh, still looks clean. Can't go wrong. We're black and white. Now we'll bring back to the bay real quick. We got the Under Armour Curry 2s. So you get a better video picture here. Yep, Under Armour Curry 2s. This exact colorway is called a suit and tie. Extremely comfortable shoes too. Very nice colorway. Black and white with a hint of red. Come on, man. For real. You know that. You know that looks fresh no matter what. Now we get into more of a little bit dressier casual sneaker. At one point in time, I had a lot of Jordans. A lot of Jordans from various series, but after a while, man, it's just the quality of the materials, the leather, the type of stuff they use. It's just like, I don't know. It just wasn't uh, it wasn't appealing to me anymore. It just felt like, I was like, man, I'm pretty stupid for paying all this money for all these shoes and the freaking material feels like it's plastic. I mean, nice colorways and everything, but I mean, I don't want to pay like two, three hundred dollars for a piece of plastic. And then I discovered these guys, Greats brand. Shout out to them. Phenomenal customer service, excellent quality shoes. They're born in Brooklyn, made in Italy. I mean, dude, prices on these, man, definitely going to give companies like Common Projects a run for their money. Here's another collaboration with Greats Brand. They actually cl collaborated with Marshawn Lynch. That's the only company Marshawn Lynch has ever uh, done sneakers with. So we got the Beast Mode, nice, clean, all black suede upper with the hint of gold. Definitely really nice. Can't go wrong with it. There you go. Now we're going to jump up to the 13s. We got here the 2014 release. Jordan 13 Gray Toes. Definitely one of my favorite 
13 model even though that's not the most hyped up one but personally in my collection I think they're the cleanest ones Alright, before we get into the whole ones galore, I'm gonna end it off here with the most one of the most iconic Jordan shoes ever. The Jordan 11. This is a 72 and 10 colorway. Still dead stuff. I haven't worn it yet, but shout out to my little sister for copying these for me for my Christmas present. Definitely one of the best gifts I've gotten in a while. Alright, now we're going to start the countdown for my collection of Jordan 1s. We'll start kick it off with the Cyber Mondays. I swapped out the black laces with white laces. I think it complements the shoe a lot better. Gives it a nice cleaner look. I mean, black on black, it's always, you can never go wrong with that, but, you know, just change it up a little bit compared to everybody else having black laces. There you go, 2015 release, Chicago ones, the ones with the nice materials, unlike the previous ones where, like I said, unfortunately a lot of Jordan ones, they feel like plastic to me. This one actually has some nice supple, supple leather to it, so definitely a keeper. Jordan 1 Shattered Backboards, arguably one of the best material they have ever used on a Jordan 1. I don't know, but personally, you can't top the leather in this. It's hard. It's extremely hard. I mean, off all the ones, hands down, this is definitely one of the best materials. Speaking of soft leather, here's one of my four pinnacles, and yes, I did say four. I do have all four of the pinnacle ones, and the only reasoning behind that is, like I said, you know, I got into more about quality and everything, and these type, I mean, not, and these shoes single-handedly really satisfied my craving for uh, higher quality materials. I mean, yeah, they're expensive, but you know. What's the point of saving maybe a hundred bucks or something, but end up selling the shoe later on anyways, because I'm not going to enjoy them as much. But here's the first one. I believe they called this the Baroque Brown. Or some people call it the Croc Skins. I don't know, whatever you guys want to call it. This is the brown pair though. Leather is extremely supple, very nice quality, very great craftsmanship. Definitely can't go wrong. <clears throat> My next pair right here, the Vachetta Tan, or Vachetta, 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 I don't know, whatever you want to call it, tomato, tomato, I don't really care, either one, super dope, only bad part about these is that after I bought them, I started researching about it, I didn't know they were that easily stainable and that attracted to dirt, I was like, dang, for real. It's like, especially somebody like me, I'm just like, dude, I'm going to go like crazy OCD with them. But overall, they're still pretty cool. I've only worn them uh, once or twice, but definitely starting to see a noticeable difference already on the patina. So it's starting to age already. There you go, the white pair. Probably one of the two most popular pinnacle ones. This one's the one with the caviar leather. And what can I say? 
white with gold? Come on. You know that's fresh. Now, I'm going to end off my collection with the one that kicked off the whole pinnacle pack. The black snakeskin one. Man, when I first seen these bad boys, I was like, dang. Those are so dope. I couldn't get my hands on them. I for sure was not paying a crazy resale price. But, over the, year, over the time... It definitely has dropped. It's dropped in value where essentially it's almost close to retail now. So, I ain't really tripping too much. So, I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's capitalize on it. I'm going to complete my pack. Now I got all four pairs. And that's it. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. This is uh, just a quick little sneak peek into my sneaker collection. Hope you guys like it. If you want more details about any of the shoes, feel free to message me or leave a comment. But besides that, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.